Well, I've always been a supporter of, of student athletics, and, and so I've known some of the teams better than the others. And it just struck me that not everybody appreciates all the teams that are here. And I thought it would be interesting to get a better sense of, of what they do year round. I think many of us know intellectually that students work out uh, year round, but I don't think people understand what that really means. Because what I did is I, I really tried to participate in the practice, not just observe it. So I did a lot of running, um, you know, a lot of uh, warm ups and, and cool downs um, and some weight room stuff. Uh, but uh, I didn't participate, you know, like in a full squad. I might do drills where I'd be in this position and kick a ball here or throw a ball here. But uh, when they did their full activity, I wasn't a part of that. I, I was watching those. But everything else I tried to be a part of. And so, yeah, I got a lot of running in. The, the student athletes would all ask me, what was my favorite one? And, and I, I didn't answer that question because what I enjoyed the most is that they each found their own sport that they were passionate about, that they were willing to put in the hours, that they were willing to get up in the morning or to work out in, in August when it's 92 degrees and the field surf temperature is 15 degrees warmer and, um, and to go to the weight room and just to do all of the things. They, they've got that internal drive and so they found the sport is, is where their passion is. I had hoped to get to know the, the students a little bit better during the practice, but one of my aha moments was they're working. And so there's not a whole lot of time to just chit chat because the coaches have those those practices very well scheduled, and and so it's a and they're trying to respect the students' time, um, and so it, it 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 but it afforded me an opportunity to connect with the students outside of practice. So I'd see them on campus and we'd chat a little bit, and and so that was kind of fun. Uh, I had not played all of the sports before. Um, probably the most unexpected thing was was rowing. Um, I went down to the river and, and uh, the coach gave me a, a 10 minute lesson on the erg, their rowing machine to sort of get you in shape. And then he comes up, the, the students are getting in the water and the boats and he said, you want to get in a boat? And I guess somebody was injured. They had a freshman boat that had both men and women in it and they were teaching them how to row. So I ended up in the boat. And, and uh, so that was unexpected. I thought I'd be in a launch with the coach sort of watching the students row. I, I have known all of the full-time staff, but I didn't know the part-time coaches as much and, and or the, the rest of the staff in the athletic department who have to set up a field or get a game ready or the student managers. Or, so, so for every activity, there's a lot of people that are involved in making that happen and, and so that the practice is successful or that the game is successful. And, and so it really is a, a, a full department um, activity uh, to support each of those athletes in their different sports. I, I've not heard of somebody else doing this and and so I, I would say if people are interested that yeah they, they can check it out. Uh, I also recognize that it's a bit of an imposition on the team or the coaches uh, to incorporate uh, some some outsider into this role uh, and a part of it, I think, that worked for me here is that I had a relationship with most of the coaches. And, and so um, there, there was already a connection. It wasn't some stranger coming in. And um, so, sure, I think other people uh, might be interested in doing it. It would just depend on the school and the context. <laughs>